or, or his movies. Um, he's an incredible actor. We made this film uh, four years ago, Jim. Yeah. It took us many years to organize with the Chinese government to get the locations we needed. It took a great deal of time to have the script approved and reapproved. Um, we translated from English to Chinese and back many times to ensure that uh, to ensure culturally that we uh, you know that we didn't we didn't make any mistakes. We had a great deal of help in the Chinese community in Vancouver and certainly in Beijing in doing that. And without uh, help from the Chinese community, we this movie would never have been made. So. Um, again, we're just uh, we're honored that you spend Saturday morning with us. There's really not much else I can tell you. I think you know as much as we do about the, the story because we we all know it. So Jim and I are here, and uh, and we'll answer whatever questions you may have about the making of this film. Oh, in the back there. I think that's a little boy. <laughs> what would you like to know? I'm a Chinese. Oh, all right. <laughs> sort of adamant that that we had a, an ensemble cast which meant that every you know the importance of everyone fitting together so after we kind of made that decision and and found Rick Hansen um, and found and, and we knew going in that Jim would be with us we kind of had the anchors for the movie and then we decided that we wanted to ensure that while the other actors were very gifted in being able to play roles we really wanted to make sure that they had some understanding of disability in their lives. Um, and, and for that reason, each of the actors cast in this movie had a pretty direct experience in their lives, if not personally. In the end, um, Rick and Amanda, and I should stress it was Amanda as, as much as Rick, were, were trusting enough and respectful enough to provide us the rights without any strings. Now we agreed, as filmmakers, that we would consult them whenever we needed them. So whether it was listening to Amanda's journals, whether it was Rick spending time with Victor Webster, whether it was looking at uh, early versions of this movie, um, Rick has been you know, enormously in involved, both emotionally and for all of us. I think Jim could speak more to it than I. But to all of us, we understood the responsibility of the story and the, and the privilege we had in telling it. And I think that, you know, the, the responsibility of that privilege drove us, um, well, there was some late nights. You know, the, I think uh, that, that China itself uh, plays an incredible role in the film. And uh, the relationships we made, I mean, it's, some of these, they were, people were so open and so caring and, and gave us so much. Uh, the Chinese people, everyone involved, not just cast and crew, I mean, uh, Yuna, was was fantastic, and uh, Mr. Wei, the the Tai Chi master, I, you know, a, the little smattering of Mandarin that I have, he and I tried to communicate as much as we could, and and I learned as much from him as I've learned in, in I mean in 50 years of 60 years of living, you know, uh, the just the, the the camaraderie, and 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 then you realize that some of these people's stories, I mean, uh, B J and Bing, the guys who uh, the the cameraman and the production designer. These guys were just so open and so caring with us and, and gave us so much. And then when we got to know them, uh, to, to realize their own stories and the hardships and what they had endured, uh, to be on the Great Wall of China, I mean, the first thing that when you get, the first time you see it, you know, you've seen pictures and you've read about it and, you know, they talk about you can see it from outer space, whether that's true or not. But the first time you get off that train up there at Gubei Kou, and you see the, at the very top of these mountains is this, this snaking along at the very apex, at the top of all these. And you get up there and you look at each one of those bricks and you realize that this, these were people that built this like, this goes back in the, this is the 15th and 16th century. And how indeed could this have happened? The amazing feat of that thing, of it being there, just is, is so deep and so uh, emotionally involving being on that Great Wall that, that you couldn't help uh, but take a step back, take a deep breath and say, we got to tell the truth. Because, the, the, I mean, the, the truth is in the, in the lives of people. It, it's all about, you know, people's lives and people trusting one another and people breaking their back to do the best they can. And uh, that's, that's what I really got from, from the whole journey in China. And I'm just so grateful uh, 
to Michael for having me involved and, and to Rick and Amanda and everybody putting the trust in us that they did. Uh, it's, it was a, an incredible experience, one that I will never forget as long as I live. Actually, it was drawn as a composite of, of a number of different people who had, uh, had, had covered the story in different, you know, from the, from the, the Paralympics in Los Angeles to the, uh, the trip around the world at different places. It was more of an amalgam, and, and I took some of, you know, Michael and I talked about who these people were, and then there's just the natural uh, instinct of a, of a, a reporter, a guy who has done this job for X number of years and has, has covered sporting events and has covered war and has covered disaster. And there, 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 be, there becomes a, a sort of a, a cynical nature to many of these guys. Here I've, put, I've been put out in the middle of nowhere to, to cover this thing that I think is, I mean, this guy, it's an ego trip at best and a guy trying to form a cult at worst. Well, I find out differently as the film goes on, but I really, you know, the, the thing is, uh, Michael made the documentary and then, and this is, uh, that, that's what happened. And, and this film, I think, explores more how it happened. And so we have to ask those questions. Because if it weren't for doubters and naysayers, like Ivan's character, uh, Rick wouldn't have had to go around the world to, to expose, you know, to, to show people that uh, anything is possible and that people with this, that we're all on an equal footing and that we're all in this boat together. So it was just re really working as the, I mean, the antagonist in the movie is the Great Wall of China. And, but I'm sort of the, I guess, the gatekeeper, the, the devil's advocate. And uh, that, was, that was the original approach that I did. But it was based on, uh, I think, three, by, by three different, two or three different uh, journalists who had followed the tour uh, over the two years that it happened. The thing that, I mean, it was a big turning point in, in, Rick's, in Rick's journey, because he had left here and people had kind of, uh, they'd sort of forgotten about it until these incredible images from China came back that there were a million people in the street. And, I, and I, a, a large part of that came out of the fact that one of the Politburo, it was uh, Cho Enlai, he's one of his, uh, uh, you know, one of the fellows that worked with him, had, had, a, disabled, had, a, had a child with a disability. And so he had, they had sort of, uh, as only they can, they, they called the troops out of them and they got out there. And, and it just, I mean, it changed the, it changed, uh, how we perceived it. All of a sudden it became, this is this worldwide event. This is not just, people had forgotten about Rick. And I, and I, I just want to, this is sort of off the subject, but I was, I, I'm so glad that this story is being told again. When we came back from China, I was in a, in a store where I know the people a lot. We were talking and there was a young guy in there, a new, a part-time employee, uh, a college student, uh, a grad student from Alberta. And he said, well, we're, well, we were in China making a film. Well, what was the film about? And I said, it was about Rick Hansen. He said, who's that? And I said, well, you never heard of Rick Hansen? No. I said, well, how about Terry Fox? He said, yeah. And so I think it's really important, you know, because what, what, what my character discovered and what we all think, I think we can all take away from this movie is that it was not an ego trip. This was really... It's a, a deep, profound moment in life that, that Rick decided to take on this challenge, this journey. To Jim's point, I was there 25 years ago, and what you see is what you get. I mean, I mean, I, I think you, in, in, you have to understand Amanda's character too and her commitment. She gave up a career to to be there, and that, and 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 while she later in life became his wife, when she left on that tour, she was sort of dragged into it. Please come, and and, and it wasn't sort of a, a fanciful thing that she did to travel the world. She had a, a, a life and a, and, a, and a great career, and, um, and they, they needed her. Without her, he wouldn't have survived. His arms would, he, I mean, everything medically would have, did anything that could go wrong with Rick on the road did go wrong. You know? and, and, and so while at different times he, in North America and in Europe, there was hospitals and clinics that he could go to, of course. But by and large, every day, all day, she was there. And, and he was sick often, and uh, he was overdeveloped in, in, the, uh, in, in terms of his upper body. And, and the body was never designed to push two marathons every day. So back to your original question, what you see is what you get. You know, she was alone. Um, she called upon other people when she needed them. But you know, all day, every day, figuring out what he ate, figuring out how he was massaged and when he, when he could push, when he couldn't. Um, it was her, and, and, and I think that had a, a huge 
uh, impact on her because in many ways, you know, she says, I, I, do you expect that I'm playing God? Well, she was, and, and she wasn't trained for it, and arguably, no one was trained.